Getting $70,000 to unlock the racetrack wasn't that easy. I spent the past several days in real life selling dozens of maple syrup barrels in a week, selling french fries, and doing street races. I now have enough money to talk to Norman to open up the track to do some legal races. Hey guys, it's Tries here, and let's start our Monday off up in here as I use my controller. So first thing I'm gonna be doing here is, like I mentioned about my maple syrup operations, all good stuff, having a crap ton of barrels, selling them every single day, or the week and all that stuff. Let's head to Maple Syrup Federation because in just a few in-game minutes, the barrel should be ready for pickup. Well, first of all, let's turn around first because I have to sell six and then pick up the other four at the Maple Syrup Federation from Friday. So here are the six barrels that we got going here with my full maple syrup reservoir with the fast-flowing valve, or, yeah, valve right here. Including a crap ton of sprout packs and tubing rolls because, as we can see in the distance, we got more trees that we got planted that are nearly matured. So we can connect this bad boy to the maple syrup network in the near future. So let's load up all the barrels and sell these six to the Federation and grab the other four and bring them back here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's door the Explorer fire cells. One barrel, two, and you know the rest. I should get in like $1,200 for every $200 we're selling our barrels, and yep, $1,200. So that's six sold right here. I hope to sell these other four throughout this day of Monday, because no, we can. We can pretty much do it right now because the maple syrup reservoir is full, so I can sell these four barrels like right about now. Like, I could run back to the sugar shack and then fill up all these barrels really quickly with the new fast full and valve and double the capacity on stuff. So now I could just sell these four barrels just pretty much on the fly, including those french fry packs that I don't think I showed you that, but I got some french fry packs I also want to sell to the snack delivery. Which I'll do that after I sell these four barrels. In the back, please don't fly out, please. So back at the shack, here's barrel number one going. Jizz. And that one is, so look at that, not even 10 in-game minutes it's been filled up, so this should fill at 10.05. Yep, probably wait till, uh, 10 minutes and this will be filled. And that's filled, oh, that takes 7 in-game minutes to fill it up, 7? That's cool. And the fourth one is now filled up. Now let's take all 40s back as soon as I drink up this pipped up maple syrup. Let's bring all the 40s to the Federation and also try to sell the french fry packs too while we're at it. And before we put the french fry packs in, I believe the plants I just seen in the corner of my eye when I was over there in the trail, yes, they all need to be watered, so you know the drill, just click and water them. Hey, chef, can you please open shop because, wait for it, bang, 200 hours. All right, let's do all the selling and see how much we may do in all this. So I believe this is the last one, so 15 packs, so 200, oh, 3,000 minus 200, or damn it, divided by, is 15. Yep, 3,000 divided by 200 is 15. So 15 of these packs that I sold to the chef, who says, nice to see you, because, well, I need poutine back at the house. And now for the barrels, so one, two, three, and four. Ten barrels we sold throughout the day, which is, hold on. Are they 10? So we got three there. Three, six, nine, ten. Yeah, so that's $2,000 of maple syrup I sold in a single day. Nice, that's a personal best. Well, because in this game, it's important to sell maple syrup because, as you probably know by now, every Sunday, you get paid for every several weeks of just selling maple syrup barrels in a weekly basis. And you get paid only on that Sunday at the dead of midnight. So let's say you sold 10 barrels throughout the week, $2,000, you'll get a $2,000 extra paycheck for every Sunday. And let's say you sell more and more of them, they stack and stack for the next several weeks, I believe. So my boy Jacques and Norman, hey, yeah, hey, 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 yes sir! Well, I don't care about Jacques about stopping in, we're gonna talk to Norman. Salo! Nope. But G, what? What? Alright, also do is price back 70 G's, and they'll start working on it once the payment is done. Donate to start the racetrack, $70,000. So, boom. Yeah, three days. Oh man. Awesome stuff. You really like racing, eh? I get that. The workers will start on the track tomorrow. They estimated three days of work. Soundproof walls are big and take a long time to install. You're alright, kid. I really like you. Yeah, because I just paid you $70,000 to get this working. 
Well, we gotta wait three in-game days to get this all going, so it's just probably managed by being able to set up network by connecting the sprouts and all that stuff to the network and go from there. All right, all reliable. Well, we got one of the sap sprouts that accidentally opened up, so there should be like a tree around the corner somewhere that I can connect to, right? Like here. Oh, I believe it's these ones. Are they ready? Yep, this one's ready. So bring the stuff out here. So let's connect these bad boys to the system. There are like four of them, I believe. Yes, four of them. And now just the two of these, this guy and that guy. So six new trees are connected. Are these closest to the house good? Wow, 99% What? These are ready, but why aren't these? Are you joking? Well, I'll handle these right here. Man, this is ridiculous that these are 99%. Are they gonna like go to 100 like in the next like at 1600 hours like the next couple in-game minutes or no? They're still at 99%. What a joke. Yep, still at 99%, so let's connect these few that are remaining right up in here, and call the expansion a wrap for right now. So after all that, where am I at in my tree? So 190 is still the what damn you good, no more word is needed. So from 169 to a 190, so that's 29 trees connected, more trees, right? I believe so. No, that's 21. 169 plus 21 equals 190, so 21 trees that I've connected, right? Was it 169 or 61, something like that? Well, this is going to take forever to get the track unlocked, three in-game days, so Thursday, I believe? I might as well just save and skip time and take you to when it's ready. Oh, first of all, sleep, and my computer's on. Well, I'll sleep first, skip through the night, and do all the time skips. Three days later... Yeah. I think the track is complete, so let's check the to-do list and head down there if that's the case. Yeah, Speedway is complete, so from donating towards the Speedway, Speedway is complete, and reward race car. Body kits, controls, wheels, and a derby event. Hmm. Well, let's check it out real quick. So, the Ultradrome Speedway sunk clean, the little Fermé sign, meaning closed, is... Is it Fermé? Closed? Does that mean closed or something? So, the sign there is gone, and, yep, the entrance is no longer blocked. Because somewhere is, like, right around here at the main gate, it said, like, Hey, it's closed due to noise complaints. Norman. It's got Norman's signature on it, so here's the main row. Let's go to third person, and there's a marker over there. Let's see. And another marker, too. Is this, like, the circuit track? And this is, like, something else? Even one down there, too. Uh, oh, that's a drag strip. So is this, like, a circuit or something like that? A circuit marker? Let me take a look at this. What is this? You're not driving a vehicle. You silly. Yeah, you silly. So that's track race. Is this acceptable? Stop. Um. Yes, I can drive it in the old truck. Cool. So, left turn. Into another left turn. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, Dag Donut Donut Productions? What'd that say? Well, uh, I go straight, right? And a right. This is a perfect vehicle for the job like this. Well, out of the blue, we're doing a freaking race as soon as I walked into the racetrack, drove up to it to see what it's like. So, let's just do this race. Do I get like a payout or no? I don't know if it's like a payout or just like, hey, you got this time. Let's see if we can do better. Let's read what this is. So I believe this is the road course section, of course, down the track. Here we go. Okay, here's the red marker, so here's the finish up. So this is the road course section. Somewhere is like another marker, like back there was the circuit track. 60 seconds, 169 milliseconds. We're just doing laps. What if I just bail out? Just screw this. Tabernacle. What? Is it gonna, like, quit on me? Like, you know, like, say, like, oh, race over, you did your three laps. Because I don't see, like, how many laps I have to do. Do I have to, like, I have to do this? I mean, I swear if I have to complete this race, no matter what, even if I did a single lap. I mean, I just want to do it with a single lap, not just do a whole damn course, because I gotta sell more maple syrup and all that stuff. I haven't collected my five barrels that I sold yesterday, which is a Wednesday in game. That's 66 seconds. Can I... End this, please? Where do I go? Alright, game, please. I'm done. Screw this. Well, while we're at it, let's check out the garage exhaust. There's a number two, and there's an Austin spray paint kind of graffiti there. 
so garage door that opens up horizontally we got a bed nice we got a bed a sink cool a computer that we could save and I believe, yes, here's our race car, and here's the impact gun, and a tire changer, and the race car, the zero to three parts installed. The old truck, 60 seconds, 63 milliseconds by going around the damn track, and here's, oh, that's another marker there, and what's this right here, uh, the ball sunk clean, inscription, the munchie entry, six, it, twelve, uh, uh, register Sunday between six and twelve hours, so, can I do it now? Demolition Derby info, the front of the car is weaker than the back, under no circumstances, you should get out of your vehicle, have fun. Yes, sir. So, unfortunately, it's on a Sunday, I can't do any Demolition Derby stuffs. Hmm, that sucks, well, I think this is a Demolition Pit right here, I believe, and a good old weight scale. Damn fat shamers. And we can order fuel? Okay, a fuel tank's empty. Oh man, we gotta call these guys. But I'm not doing it right now, and what -a. I guess that's all there is to it with the racetrack, right? Does this door work? Nope, it don't work. Yeah, it's just a little office here, build your race car there, change your clothes right, um, here. Yeah, could change your clothes there, and do all that, okay? So finally, after several in-game days, I finally had the option and the opportunity to unlock the racetrack here on Mom Bazool. So after spending $70,000, probably in the near future, seeing that it's a bid week, probably in the next like few in-game days or whatever, I'll probably try out like the other races, like the drag strips, the circuit races, and the demolition derby where I need to bring the car back from my storage garage close to my house and bring it over here to participate in the Demolition Derby. So anyways, that'll do it with this episode on Mon Fazool. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.